Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root your Asus Transformer Prime. It is a very simple process. This should take us no longer than five minutes. So what you want to do first is head to the link in the description that will bring you to this page. Uh, from there you want to go, uh, you'll scroll all the way down to where it says download. And if you have Windows, you will click here. Uh, that'll take maybe five minutes or less to download. Uh, when you're finished, you'll end up with a zip file. Unzip that to your desktop. And what you're looking for is, uh, let me see if I can get a close up there, the Viper Mod Primetime. Uh, that's the file that you're looking for. So you just go ahead and double click to open that. And uh, you'll click on this, the Viper Mod Primer tool. Uh, so just double click to open that. Okay, so once that's opened, we'll go to our Transformer Prime. And let's see here, what you'll want to do is turn that on. Go ahead and uh, head to the settings. So you'll just head to settings and developer settings. Or developer options and you want to make sure that this USB debugging is checked so once that's checked you will go ahead and I just plug that into your your computer and the first time that you plug that into the computer it should go ahead and install your USB drivers if it does not install the USB drivers uh, then you'll have to do that from the tool So if it doesn't install the USB drivers, you'll have to do that separately. It's included in the toolkit here under uh, drivers and Android. So you have your 64-bit or your 86-bit install uh, driver install that you can do right there. Very simple, very easy. Uh, but for now, we're concerned with rooting. So we'll go ahead and open that. And all you have to do, this is like really super simple, really super easy. See if I can get a better shot here for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so all you have to do here is go by your system version. The latest update that happened not too long ago, a couple nights ago, uh, you would select number one and just hit enter. And it's telling you that you have to make sure that uh, you have your drivers installed. And so you'll hit enter again and make sure that your USB debugging is on. And so far you should be good, so hit enter. And then it's going to proceed to root your device. This does not take very long at all. And it's exploiting and installing BusyBox. Cleaning up, and now it's rebooting the device. So once it's fully rebooted, it should be rooted. And I'm going to back out and show you guys on the actual device that we are rooted. So an easy way to check for your root is to go into the market and install an application called Root Check. A root checker is free and it'll tell you whether or not you have root, which I know that we do. I've already done this. You can also unroot by selecting option four and that will unroot you. So you can easily root or unroot with a Viper Mod Prime Time. Okay, so we'll go and open up Root Checker and verify root access and we have root it's asking us for root permission so we'll go ahead and allow that and it tells us congratulations this device has been rooted so uh, head on over to droidmoderx.com for all the latest in uh, news rhymes mods and hacks for your android device also i'm going to be putting out some videos on how to uh, Unlock the bootloader and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Also, how to do backups and restores of your stock ROM. And I'll show you guys how to install custom ROMs as they come out for this device. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 of 3. And uh, like I said, be sure to follow up with this. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.